The Vatican has warned U.S. bishops who denied President Biden Holy Communion over abortion. This happens as conservative American Catholic bishops are preparing a debate over whether Catholics who support the right to an abortion should be allowed to take Holy Communion. The Vatican does not agree with the position of many American bishops who intend to unite to deny communion to politicians supportive of abortion rights. That, of course, includes President Biden, who has become the first Catholic president in 60 years. Some conservative bishops leading this movement, who were clearly supportive of former President Donald Trump, now want to reaffirm the centrality of opposition to abortion in the Catholic faith, and in a bid to protect our tradition, find themselves in opposition to Rome. Their opposition to the modernism that comes from the Vatican clearly demonstrates the political polarization within the American Catholic Church and set a precedent for bishops' conferences in many countries of the world. The concern in the Vatican, said Antonio Espadaro, a Jesuit priest, and close ally of Francis, is not to use access to the Eucharist as a political weapon. The Roman pontiff has signaled the United States as the source of opposition to his pontificate, and recently stated that communion is not the reward of saints, but the bread of sinners. Cardinal Louis Ladaria, prefect for the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, wrote a letter to the American bishops, warning them that the vote could become a source of discord rather than unity within the Episcopate and the larger Church in the United States. Comments The irony of this opposition of Rome to the good doctrine of the American bishops is that our Catholic faith is rooted on the commandments. Therefore, abortion is a grave sin against life. But when the time comes to defend the commandments and the tradition of the Church, nothing good comes from the Vatican. It happened recently with bishops and priests in Germany who demonstrated their apostasy by blessing gay couples, clearly disobeying the Church and the commandments of God, showing their partiality with sin. The Church hasn't done anything to avoid schism, even though they have received some light criticism from the Vatican. Nothing substantial has been made to show the authority of the Church Therefore, their evil doing is spreading throughout the world and shows the need of the Church to be tough in order to defend our Catholic faith. But on the contrary, the Vatican is now interfering with bishops that want to defend our faith. It is clearly seen that for Rome, God doesn't really matter. For abortion politicians and gay people, have become so important to the Church that it has become okay to place them at the cost of offending God. Apostasy reigns. False mercy has spread like a cancer. Unity of the Church with the United Nations and the New World Order is a clear sign that we are living the times of the end of times predicted in the Holy Scriptures when he will reigns within the church. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us what you think. Do you agree with the church that opposes the Vatican and promotes the commandments of God? Or do you prefer a church that is obedient to the Vatican 
and doesn't care about the commandments of God. Can you see how our beloved Catholic Church is promoting profanation of the Holy Eucharist? It is already happening through the terrible way in which the true presence of Christ is desecrated by forcing the faithful to receive Holy Communion in the hand. I personally stay and give my support to the traditional Catholic Church. God bless you.